Hello everybody, I'm Minerva from Sugarland Branch Library. I'm going to show you today the basics of adding images and shapes to a Microsoft Word 2010. First, open your document and go to the menu bar. Then select the Insert tab, click Insert, and the Illustrations group will show up, where you find pictures, clip art, shapes, and more. Let's start with picture. By the time you hit picture, it takes you to the pictures library in your PC. From, from there, you choose the picture you like to add to your document. Hit insert. The picture now is inserted in your document where your cursor was at in the document. If you wish, you can resize and rotate the picture that is inserted. In case you wish to resize a picture that you inserted in the document to a smaller or bigger size, you can place your cursor on any of the white circles on the corners of the picture. A double-headed arrow will appear. Click, hold, and drag. And the arrow will decrease or increase the size of that targeted picture. If you use the corners for increasing or decreasing the picture, it will keep the picture centered. If you wish to rotate the picture, just drag the rotation handle from the top of the picture and move it to the direction you want. More details about rotation is found in the picture tools format. You can also use the insert tab to add a clip art to your document. Go to insert and click the clip art. Then the clip art pane opens and in the search for text box, type a word or phrase that describes the clip art you want. I typed birthday cake, then click go. You will see a big list of birthday cake clip art drop down. Scroll and find the one you like. I chose this chocolate cake. You click the clip art to insert and the clip art will be inserted into your document. And exactly like pictures, you can resize the clip art using the same technique used with pictures. The Insert tab has another feature, which is adding shapes to the document. Click Insert and click Shapes. And this brings a big number of classified shapes. Select the one you like and a cross shape cursor will appear to place the shape in your document. By the time you choose a shape and place it in the document, a new tab at the top of the ribbon will pop up named Drawing Tools Format tab. The feature that this tab has can be found also if you place the cursor on the shape and right click with your mouse. The menu list appears includes what is called Format Shape. The Drawing Tools Format includes Shape fill, where you can choose for your shape. No fill, or fill with a color, or change the color of the shape. As you see the changes that happened here. In the option of shape outline, you can change the width of the shape. Choose shape outline, click on it, and a list will drop down. Choose weight and another list of lines with different width appears. Highlight the one you like to add to your shape. Then it will be applied right away to your shape. Using the same drawing tools format, choose Shape Change to change the shape you have into other shape you prefer more than the one you have, like here. By this, 
I end my presentation on the basics of adding images and shapes to a Microsoft Word 2010 document. Thank you for watching.